Hi guys, uh, today I will be showing you how to take a detailed model from 3D from ZBrush to 3ds Max. Um, I know the Gozi feature in the latest ZBrush 4 um, is takes care of all this. <coughs> Sorry, for, forgive my voice. I have cold at the moment. Uh, this video I am making actually for a friend of mine who is having some issue with the installation of Gozi and uh, actually it's always better to know the basics than to just be dependent on the a single button if uh, you go somewhere and it's not working properly instead of wasting the time into getting the settings right uh, you can do it manually the first thing you need to realize is that the, there are only two most important things about the model that you have in ZBrush that you have detailed the first thing is the details and the second is the mesh itself the details can be extracted through either normal mapping or displacement mapping whereas the mesh can be exported as an OBJ format which uh, is um, which can be opened in any software from Max to Maya um, almost all of them even in ZBrush so first we will take care of the yeah, let me switch my user interface over there all right first we've, uh, before we can remove the displacement map uh, by the way yeah i love these <laughs> uh, it's uh, quite literal over here uh, i was thinking to write something then i thought about i'm posting it on youtube then what what better to write than the three guys who make me laugh the entire year all right uh, let's go to uv map first all right i will delete the uv map i don't know uh, maybe that was the default uv map on the queue but we will just do the AUV tiles now I don't recommend using the AUV tiles whenever you are working on a model or project or something uh, it's um, uh, very it's it's impossible to edit a texture or a displacement map in Photoshop once you are using AUV files I will show you why this is what the UV map looks like all right uh, now unless you are a supercomputer it, it's probably impossible most probably impossible all right now i will leave the resolution of the uv to 2048 that is 2k uh, for the tutorial that should be more than enough mm, now in displacement map we will create displacement but first i would like to you know i will switch this adaptive scan mode on uh, it actually improves the quality of displacement map uh, uh, it also increases the time but the time uh, delay isn't that much so I will keep it on then the rest of the settings depends upon what uh, are you looking for if it's a highly detailed character that you want to render for uh, just a illustration or something a 32 bit uh, you can export it via 32 bit also uh, for the best uh, quality output but for the tutorial being I will just create the displacement map now mm, all right. uh, yeah that wasn't too long you can already see the map over here displacement map the resolution is actually the subdivision of the cube is at its lowest so uh, all right now uh, first i will just turn off the displacement map i will clone the displacement map and from Al uh, then it will be transferred to the alpha box over here and from alpha i will just export it uh, i have created a folder over here so I will go to tutorial and let's name it this is right. and yeah. I will save it as diff. Hopefully this works fine. Okay, so now we will be exporting the mesh as an OBJ. I will come to the lowest subdivision level, that's one. I will name it Q all right save it now right, we are probably done with zbrush let's come in 3ds max we will go to file import and we will go to e tutorials through obj open that we will import that in all right there it is and uh, now uh, just for to get uh, the details correctly uh, uh, it, uh, if uh, you have many subdivisions in zbrush then it will be it would be 
a good idea to give a turbo smooth of one iteration you can see your one iteration um, one other mesh all right now we will uh, add we'll apply a mater new material let's drag and drop that over there uh, we will go down to we will add the displacement map under mentally connections okay, let me take this All right, over here under mental recollect connections uh, that should be an option yeah here it is displacement default uh, you can unlock this but it won't work as you can see unless you uh, you have set the renderer to um, you can press F10 to bring out the render settings and, and under common tabs uh, come down until you can see the assign renderer tab click on it uh, in production select mental renderer and in material editor unlock this and keep it scanline only uh, you can keep that one also but scanline uh, i think it's better yeah so we will close this now and now when we come to displacement map we have your four options we will select the 3d displacement and in 3d displacement we will select we will go inside the extrusion map and we will pick a bitmap over there Double click on it and in pip map we will go and pick the displacement map that we had exported earlier open all right uh, now the thing is we will have to uh, render it a few times and to see what actually you know what looks good which settings we will have to manipulate the settings for a while uh, play with the settings you can see uh, let's see uh, if we will try it all right all right all right forgot a step if you try this now it will probably come out wrong i can just show you right away let me uh, okay, okay come on it's taking a bit of time but that's okay yeah as you can see it's completely messed up We will flip it vertically and that should be it. Control save, control to upload it is right save and we we'll just remove the image once so that it gets yeah okay. We just selected the image again so that it's we are sure it's updated. And now when we do render everything should be fine. Yeah, we will still need to play with the settings as you can see that um, it's a bit too much over here all right it all came upside down let's all right, i won't go into that too much now let's just um, go to the material editor and play with the settings so under under displacement map uh, you will need to go out where you had uh, placed the displacement map, uh, the extrusion map actually and on extrusion strength uh, lower this to 0.2 or something this value isn't fixed you will have to play with this value to find something that is working with your model uh, yesterday the model I was working on it the uh, value had to be increased to 5.6 so yeah that depends upon your model exactly Exactly, it depends on your model. Yeah, uh, as you, it's still a bit too high. Let's lower it to 0.1. Okay, it looks better. I think we should have added a bit of smooth more. Turbo smooth iteration should have been increased. Um, all right. Um, we could have actually increased a bit uh, lower too, but may not look as good okay now yeah that should that's the end of the tutorial i think so if you guys have any issues or questions uh, just post it down in the comment section